Hi, welcome to West Carry Barbell. My name is Tom Simon and today I'd like to show you how we measure band tension. In addition to your bench, your bar, your rack, and your bands, to measure your band tension, you'll need bathroom scale. Ours we keep on a piece of plywood because we have a rubber floor in our gym. If you don't have a rubber floor, you don't need it. You'll need a 2x4, at least as tall as the highest the bar is ever going to be. Taller than my shoulder, not a problem for me. You'll need a hammer and two nails. Before we can measure the band tension, we have to know the two end positions of the band, or the top of the lift and the bottom of the lift. And Thad is with me now, and we're going to measure for his bench press the start and stop positions. So if you can unrack the bar and hold it, set our board on our scale, and make a mark and lower it. Make a mark. Okay, we've got our two marks here and here, and we just have to measure the band tension at those two positions. I've taken the two nails and I've driven them into the marks on our board. The next step is to measure the band tension. Now that we've measured our bar travel, marked it on our board, driven our nails to give us something to hang our bands on. Uh, we've got our pegs set up, and we're ready to set up our bands. This is how we normally set up our, our band pegs for, for bench press here. And we loop our band. Put our scale in position. And measure our band tension. the bottom, we show 23 pounds. At the top, thirty-four pounds. It's that easy. If we need more tension at the top, we have two choices. We can adjust our pegs back or we could use a bigger band. A larger band, we use the same technique, set it up, hook it on our lower nail, turn on our scale, and measure. 40 pounds at the bottom, and at the top, At the top, we have 58. We can say, well, that's too much. We can adjust our pegs. Move our peg one hole closer. Your rack may vary depending on your hole spacing. Set it up. Bottom, we have 34 pounds. At the top, 55 pounds. You may say, that's great, Tom, but I only have a mini band and I don't have band tags. Well, configured and the same way you normally do. In this case, I've just got it looped under the bottom of the rack. Hook it on your bottom nail. Put it on your scale. And weigh. At the bottom there, we've got 32 pounds. And at the top, At the 
top we have forty seven pounds. Now that you know how to measure band tension, what are you going to do with it? Well, I recommend you record your band tensions for all three of your lifts and at varying settings. If you choke it around the rack, add a 2x4 in your loop. If you use pegs, increase your peg spacing and, and measure your tension for all those positions. Once you have it, compile it into a nice little table and put it in your training book. You'll refer to it more than you think.